Greetings, my friends. I've been on social media for the last 10 years, and I can tell you that every year I've seen endless uh, supposed Christians who have done videos and done posts all across social media swearing that the Feast of Trumpets would be when the rapture would take place. Feast of Trumpets this year, this year, this year, that year, this year, that year. And every year I've done rebuttal videos. I've done videos where I've said it's possible it could happen on a Feast of Trumpets, but that's not the given day. God s says plainly in the Bible that it's not going to be on um, Feast of Trumpets, particularly. It's going to be on any day that God decides, the day that no man knows, not even Jesus, only God. They try to mix in Jewish Feast of Trumpets um, traditions into Christianity, and that's that's the big problem right now. One of the big problems of the church is Christians have tried to, to become Jews. That's what the, what the Bible wants. We're saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood. If you want to become a Jew as a Christian, you revert back to the old law. You fall under the law. You're no longer a Christian following Jesus Christ. You're perverting the gospel. And all those who have been turned away from the rapture who won't believe anymore now, and there's millions and millions and millions who aren't, who won't, their blood will be on your hands, my friends, and on your heads. It'll be on their heads as well because they know better. It'll be on yours as well for all the false teachers who have taught them wrongly. And I'm going to tell you why I believe this was the last chance for a Feast of Trumpets rapture. The Bible's very clear. Let's go ahead and go down here to Psalm 90. 10, all I ever use is the King James Version Bible. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Now ask yourself a question. Could it possibly be 70 years, and then 10 years after that to make it 80? Think about this for a minute. If that's the case, and those who lived 70 years, who died before 80, if they didn't have strength to endure, they would be left behind. That contradicts the Bible, in my humble opinion. This is what I've always believed. I believe that 10 extra years was backdated to 1938, because 1938 is when the when the Germany started in, in, in mass persecuting the Jews, and those who, in that 10-year period from 38 to 48, when the 70-year generation the Bible talks about began, those are the ones who had to have the strength to endure and the sorrow. But that soon cut off, Christ says. After that next 70 years, we fly away. If you go by the old Bible calendars, the Jewish calendars, we're still <clears throat> in that 70-year window right now, but not for much longer. I don't think it goes beyond the middle of next year, at the very latest. And we're in that window right now. So to, have to, to tack 10 years onto that doesn't make sense. Again, in my humble opinion, the Bible, I believe that was the last chance that the Feast of Trumpets, people who keep putting this every year, that's going to be the rapture, that it'll happen. Let's go to Matthew 24, 34, and 36. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. This is Christ again talking about Israel, which became a nation again in 1948. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not my words, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, my father only. I believe, but my father only. I believe that, again, it's like the old scripture that talks about the ship being filled. When, when the last of the, in the old days, when the last people on board the ship, the last sailors who were going to set sail, filled the ship. Then the ship could set sail. And I believe Christ is waiting for that last Gentile to be saved because we're in the age of the Gentile. Jews are getting saved as well right now. We're in the age of the Gentiles. We have been for the last 2,000 years. And once that happens, he'll tell Christ, I believe, just snatch his bride away. Then we'll be gone. And then the seventh, seventh week of Daniel of the time of Jacob's trouble, the, the tribulation, great tribulation will happen. And that's when God will deal exclusively with his chosen people, the Jews. Yes, some Christians may be saved during that time, but it's flip-flopped. It's a Jew's turn then. Christians had thousands of years. Jews only had the last seven for God to deal with them. We are definitely, my friends, need to be looking for the rapture every single day because God can make it happen any day. And the more people you witness to, the more you lead to Christ, all for him, through him and by his glory and power, the more chance there is of the, that day happening sooner than later. And I believe, again, we're on the threshold. Every single sign in the Bible is here waiting for God to give that word, and I believe he's waiting for that last Gentile to be saved, that last soul to be saved, for us to get out of here and get out of Dodge. Rapture's upon us, my friends. Will you fly or stay behind to die? If you don't believe the pre-trib rapture, you're left behind, you'll believe then, albeit too late. The same way if you don't believe in repentance, Christians, after salvation, you'll believe when you're left behind, won't you? There's hundreds of scriptures say you have to repent of your sins after you're saved. Hundreds do. Pray the prayer to do the six steps in the box below video. Again, no one's guaranteed more time in your life. Share all my videos and sermons. Those who get saved and repent of being backslidden, you get credit for them in heaven as well, my friends. I love you all so much. May God bless you. Look up, true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Stop spreading false gospel. Spread the truth. Love you all so much. We fly soon. Share.